Hey guys, I'm going to be talking about the WP and Q script function. It simply helps ensure that scripts are not loaded more than once. When you load jQuery twice, crazy things happen to your slide deck. Here we've got a couple slide decks and everything looks fine. I'm going to switch over to the header.php file really quickly. A lot of times you look at your theme and you'll see that up here in the header.php file after HTML head title You've got a couple link tags here being manually included, but you'll notice that this is the default WordPress 2010 theme, and they're not including any scripts manually. They're in queuing a script right here, but they're not manually including it. A lot of times you'll see theme authors do things like this, where they manually include jQuery, and then they might include a bunch of other scripts right after it to do some crazy drop-down menus or sliding effects. That's fine, but it breaks plugins. The reason is, plugins are taught by WordPress to include their scripts here. If two plugins need the same script, WP head will only include it once. So how do we tell our plugin that we only want it to include our script once? Well, that's where this WP and Q script function comes in. The WP and Q script will actually allow a plugin to request that a script is loaded, but it won't actually load it until WordPress gets to WP head. If I save the header.php file, we can see that our slide decks will break when I refresh the page. All right? This is because in our source here, jQuery is actually being loaded here, and then jQuery is being loaded up here as well. So jQuery is being loaded twice, and it essentially overwrites all of the work that all of these plugins have done once they've set up all their stuff. So if we wanted to not do it that way and do it the right way, we would remove manual inclusions of jQuery from the head. We can save this file, we go back to our page, and we can see that our slide deck is working again. That's good. Now, if you only include slide deck on certain pages, slide deck is only going to include its jQuery on certain pages. That means that if you wanted jQuery on every page, you still have to include it somehow. And that's where the WP and Q script function comes in. To use the WP and Q script, you need to include it into your theme's functions file. If your theme doesn't have a functions file, you can just make one. The 2010 functions file that I'm working with right here has a bunch of stuff in it, but we don't have to worry about any of that. Up here at the top of the functions file, all I need to do is add WP and Q script jQuery, just like that. Now, without anything included in the header file, jQuery will be loaded on every page. And if we reload, our slide deck works just fine. So, just to be clear about things, the head section of your document is not the right place to load jQuery when using WordPress. You should load your scripts via the WP and Q script function in the functions.php file. Here's some additional information on the WP and Q script function. WordPress has the function pretty well documented in their codecs, so it's worth taking a read if you're interested in including more of your own scripts using this method. Here's an example of how you might include your scripts file. You use WP and Q script, and I'm going to call this script scripts. Then we get the blog info style sheet directory and tell WordPress that the file we want to include is scripts.js. Here we're saying that jQuery is a dependency. It means that it'll always load my scripts.js file after it's loaded jQuery. This is really cool because you never have to worry about what order things are getting loaded in. You just have to make sure that your scripts have their correct dependencies. The last parameter here is a version parameter. I'm just using a timestamp. It's a little lazy and sloppy, but it works for when I'm doing development work. So if you added this to your scripts file, the WP and Q script function here sorry, to your functions file. The WP and Q script here will tell WordPress to load your scripts file from this location after it's loaded jQuery. It's pretty simple.